Uh, welcome to Ansel and Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials. Today is my second one in Visual Basic and I'm going to explain. I had one before about reading from a file and writing the file but on that one the name of the file was hardwired into the code here. We wanted it to user select. So let's just run it here. Sorry. A uh, dialog box opens. We're able to pick the source file. Um, um, where are we? And there it is. Uh, it just takes a second or two. The file will read into the text box. I then hit save and then I can select where I want to put it. Um, I put it into personal and I'm going to call it text 3. Okay. And then I can stop the program by hitting the close button. Okay, so I think you get the general idea. I've made out a couple of slides. Um, so, reading right into text. So, stream reader and stream writer. So, stream reader, no marks for guessing. That's something enabling Visual Basic to read in. And stream writer, obviously, to write out. Okay, so uh, we have to just go back to here. Uh, just go back to the code. So, import system.io, that has to be at the very beginning. Okay, system.io. So, the word import means we have to import the namespace system.io into the program and then we're able to declare. Uh, this is a general way of getting the dialog. I'm not going to look at that in particular. I mean, I'll leave it up for a second or two because the code is later on. Uh, so, I put in the text box and three buttons, so if I just go back to the code here. There's my text box. I named it as text.editor there, just over here, and then I set multi-line to true. And if it's true, I can make that uh, text box uh, as big as I can in the vertical direction if it's I leave it to false it's only one line wide and I also have three buttons here okay so there's uh, the reading bit so I've declared it a file reader as stream reader I've declared an open file dialog one as a dialog and the results is what I get from the dialog result the title is please select a file. Results is open file dot dialog one dot show dialog. So that's what the one I select. If I've clicked OK, file reader is new stream reader, open file dialog one dot file name. So in other words, open the file that I've highlighted. And text editor dot text is read everything to the end. I exit the file uh, reader, I close the if, and I close the sub. There's a screen grab, okay, just to show you what it looked like. Writing file, uh, we had open file dialog and now we have save file dialog, which is here. So if you can write one, you can write the other. I'm not saying you can write on the first go, but... So there we have it. Been very lazy, I didn't rename my button, I should have called that something like save button, but I just called it button 2, I'm lazy. Dim file writer is stream writer. Dim save file dialog one is as a new f save file dialog. I didn't put in a title here. I suppose I should have. The results is of dialog uh, dot result. So I save it. Okay. The results is the res obviously of the dialog. If I've clicked OK, file writer is whatever the file name is. And then I write, and how do I write? FileWriter.write 
text editor dot text. So whatever's in the text written the file, I close the file writer, I close the if, I end sub. How do I shut the code down? That's my third button, and I just did a close there. Okay, so I just do a little look at the code. So there we go. There's the code. So I think we've seen that already. I won't spend too much time and just widen that a little. Okay, I might widen it here a little too. So there's the first button. There's the second button. And there's the third button. Okay, so uh, that's it. I suppose the important thing is for people that are new to it, uh, this stuff is fairly weird. The stream reader and the stream writer and open file log, dialog one, etc. But you'll get the hang of it after a file. Okay, thanks very much for listening.